Glory to God the Father and Son Yeshua Messiah. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 Giving no offense. As God's fellow workers we also urge you not to receive his grace and then do nothing with it. For he says, At the acceptable time I heard you. In the day of salvation I helped you. 1. We try not to put obstacles in anyone's path, so that no one can find fault with the work we do. On the contrary, we try to commend ourselves in every way as workers for God by continually enduring troubles, hardships, calamities, beatings, imprisonments, riots, overwork, lack of sleep and food. We commend ourselves by our purity, knowledge, patience and kindness, by the Ruach Hakadesh, by genuineness of love and truthfulness of speech, and by God's power, we commend ourselves through our use of righteous weapons, whether for pressing our cause or defending it. Through being honored and dishonored, praised and blamed, considered deceptive and sincere, unknown and famous, and we commend ourselves as God's workers headed for death, yet look, we're alive, as punished, yet not killed. As having reason to be sad, yet always filled with joy. As poor, yet making many people rich. As having nothing, yet having everything. The Appeal for Reconciliation Dear friends in Corinth, we have spoken frankly to you, we have opened our hearts wide. Any constraint you feel has not been imposed by us, but by your own inner selves. So, just to be fair, I am using the language of children, open wide your hearts to the appeal for separation. Do not yoke yourselves together in a team with unbelievers, for how can righteousness and lawlessness be partners, what fellowship does light have with darkness? What harmony can there be between the Messiah and Belial? What does a believer have in common with an unbeliever? What agreement can there be between the temple of God and idols? For we are the temple of the living God. As God said, I will house myself in him, and I will walk among you. I will be their God, and they will be my people. Two. Therefore, Adonai says, go out from their midst, separate yourselves, don't even touch what is unclean. 3. Then I myself will receive you. 4. In fact, I will be your father, and you will be my sons and daughters, says Adonai Svo. 5. 